The completed signature arches of the San Joaquin River Viaduct straddle the Fresno and Madera County line and represent the northern gateway into the Central Valley. With the superstructure now complete, crews are putting the final touches on the largest structure in Construction Package 1. Together, the San Joaquin River Viaduct and pergola structure are approximately 4,741 feet long, with the top span of the viaduct stretching 43 feet wide. The 210-foot arch span over the San Joaquin River is supported by 20 precast floor beams. Technically, the cast-in-place arches act as a suspension bridge support for the bridge deck. Further south of the San Joaquin River, a large pergola structure was built to allow high-speed trains to cross over the Union Pacific Railroad. A total of 198 girders form the foundation of the lid of the pergola structure. Each girder weighs 156,000 pounds and are 121 feet long. In North Fresno, crews are hard at work at Veterans and Golden State Boulevard, part of the second phase of the City of Fresno's Veterans Boulevard Interchange and Corridor Improvement Project. When complete, the Veterans Boulevard project will include a grade separation, taking traffic over the Union Pacific Railroad, Golden State Boulevard, and future high-speed rail lines. The City of Fresno Improvement Project is partially funded by the California High-Speed Rail Authority. At the northern portion of the Conejo Viaduct in Fresno County, crews continue to place concrete to form the vents and columns of the substructure. To the south, crews continue to erect column flares. That's the portion of the column that supports the superstructure. When complete, the 2,000-foot Conejo Viaduct will carry high-speed trains over the BNSF rail line, Conejo, and Peach Avenue. At Avenue 144, Tule River Viaduct in Tulare County, crews from Martina Still are tying rebar for a multi-cell reinforced box culvert, a structure that will allow water and wildlife to cross below the high-speed rail alignment. More than 800 cubic yards of concrete will be placed for the base of the culvert. To the south, crews have begun paving for what will be the temporary State Route 43. In February, crews broke ground at the Dover Avenue overcrossing in Fresno County. Currently, crews are hauling roughly 800 to 900 truckloads of dirt every day to form the slopes of the future overcrossing and grade separation. When complete, the overcrossing will take traffic over the future high-speed rail lines and will span 2,816 feet long and 870 feet wide. At Mountain View Avenue in Fresno County, Crews are working on reconstructing and relocating the Elkhorn Ditch with the installation of a pre-cast box culvert. The future grade separation will take traffic over the BNSF and future high-speed rail lines. At McCombs Avenue, crews have poured four of eight columns for the substructure of the McCombs grade separation. Crews continue to work on the west side of the BNSF tracks to prepare the forms and rebar to continue to pour future columns. When complete, the McCombs Avenue grade separation will take traffic over the BNSF and future high-speed rail lines. At the Wasco Viaduct, crews continue to set panels on the mechanically stabilized earth, MSE wall, on the north side of the structure. Crews continue to backfill with dirt to form the slopes of the structure. At the top of the north side of the structure, iron workers are tying rebar to form the box girder section, as well as the bent diaphragm and anchors of the superstructure. At the pergola section, crews recently completed a utility relocation, allowing crews to get to work on the center portion of the structure. Crews have placed concrete to form the columns for the center span. Further south, precast panels continue to be installed to form the deck of the structure. Surveyor crews on top of the overhead portion of the BNSF right-of-way mark the necessary points needed to bring the Wasco Viaduct together. Just below the edge girder, crews are working on the finishing of the exposed surface. Crews are keeping up the pace on high-speed rail construction. Expect to see a lot more in the coming months of 2021.